Hello and welcome back to a special edition of Rev Endurance Sports After Dark. Uh, this is after business hours. I am at I am at home, but I wanted to do a lead-in to a video that follows. And thank you, Jessica, for <laughs> being my camera person. So I had an, an email sent to me from a gentleman who has been having some trouble, some uh, soreness and some discomfort on his saddle. And um, we set an appointment for today. And what I wanted to uh, talk about today is, and those of you who have watched this channel for a while, this is old news, but if you look at this saddle, there's just really nothing spectacular, or different or game changing in any uh, design visual um, cues. However, what you will see is today when I put this saddle on this gentleman's bike, the first impression I did not capture on video. I didn't have my, my uh, camera with me and I also I didn't know if he'd be amenable to that, but it was really one of these situations where, wow, this is better. This is so much better and different than what I'm riding. So without any further ado, stick around, watch this very candid and very natural and real life experience with a gentleman that I took off of a 3D printed physique saddle and put them on an SQ lab. Well, it just took all the pressure off the tank. I yeah. didn't think I had that much pressure there, but as soon as I took off riding, it was like gone. Yeah, yeah. It just feels like everything is just cupped kind of where it's supposed to be. Uh, so yeah, so what we're doing is we're, we're demoing a 612 standard, not the active, and not the R, which is the chopped off nose racing version. And this came off of one of my bikes. And so what do you, what do you think? You think it's worth taking out for a couple of weeks and, um, and seeing how it feels over? Yes, very much. Yeah, okay, well that's good. Um, tell me about the saddle that was on there. Was that like a stock saddle? Where'd you get that one? Uh, I got that at a, at a shop over in Encinitas. Did you get a chance to demo that saddle I before you purchase it? It? And it? it did feel like it was an upgrade. It okay. definitely felt better than the, the Sella that I had on there that okay. came on the bike. But, you know, I'm newer to this, so it's like you kind of don't know what to expect and what you're going to, what it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, okay, so two very dramatic, or one very dramatic difference between the two saddles is that one is more like a, like a mesh rubber. 3D printed. 3D, okay, 3D printed, and this is more of a no give, no padding saddle. What, what do you think? Do you think it there's merit to not yeah. having the cush? Yeah, definitely, very much so. Yeah, one of the first things we talked about before uh, even putting the saddle on is I said, if the saddle is the right shape, the padding is not important. Um, okay, good. Um, would you want me to raise the saddle a little bit or do you want to eliminate the troubleshoot um, the the challenge that oh is was it the saddle height was it the saddle because i think your saddle's a little low i feel like it needs to go up a little bit now okay all like right it feels lower than it was before still. okay all right what do you say young man I like it yeah yeah a lot I'm gonna ride it for a couple of weeks, but I think it's it's a winner. Yeah. Uh, it feels so like everything is like I'm not searching. Like there's times where I'm like searching for you know just the right spot on the saddle. Sliding forward, sliding back. Yeah. Now it's like locked in in the back, and everything else in the front, you know, has seems like it has room to move around. It's not just pressed up in this. Yeah. So funny thing about this little ramp here is I do find that it does put me in a, in a, in a good place uh, with like a backstop, if you will. Yeah, So and that's what I tried with the other one was rotating it down, yeah. like nose down a little bit, thinking that that would lock me in, but that just didn't seem to help. Yeah, sometimes actually nose up will do that. 
Um, okay, so how many rides do you think you'll get in the next couple of weeks? I, I'd like you to get at least three rides. Oh, yeah, and if you're, sure. ten, if you're tender, take a day or two off because you want to make sure that you give this saddle a fair shake if you've got soreness from your other saddle, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely get that. Okay. I'll probably get, you know, probably five or six by the end of next week. Cool. Um, do you get a chance to ride on weekends? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so that's really cool. And the funny thing is that when you first came in, I was like, mm, that, that saddle looks low to me. But, um, but yeah, so we did go up another smidge. Here's the black electrical tape where the saddle height that you came in on. You might even go a tiny bit more, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback over a longer period of time. You've only done three to five minutes, but yeah. it was remarkably different, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. As soon as I sat on it, it's really different. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. All right.